So one square meter of solar panel in space produces eight times the electricity of one square meter of, of solar panel terrestrially. Well, actually, let, let's just touch on that comparison between terrestrial solar versus space solar as a means of powering data centers. Some people sometimes ask, okay, I've got a, I've got a 10 square kilometer patch of desert. Is it more efficient for me to build a data center with solar panels on my square 10 square kilometer patch of desert? Or is it, is what you're doing more efficient? And so I'll touch on why it's more efficient to do that in space. Cause that's a like kind of equal to equal comparison. So the three big costs you have terrestrially are once you've got permitting to put a 10 square kilometer solar farm on a piece of desert, the cost of that land, the cost of permitted land is actually probably the biggest cost of, of doing that terrestrially. So if you want to, if you're starting from scratch and you want to do that terrestrially, you have to find a piece of permitted land and buy it. And that is extremely expensive. The price of that land basically goes up to match the discounted cash flow you get from the energy over the next 20 years. So it's basically, yeah, it is very expensive. Number two, particularly in North America. Number two is if you are on earth, you have a day night cycle. And so you're going to need a lot of battery storage and a lot of backup power. And then the last point is you're going to need a whole bunch of solar cells. So in space, we don't need permitted land. So biggest cost is gone. We don't need batteries. We don't need backup power. So second biggest cost is gone. And we need eight times less solar cells. So one square meter of solar panel in space produces eight times the electricity of one square meter of, of solar panel terrestrially. So the only additional cost we have in space is the launch cost. And that is very rapidly trending towards zero or, you know, trending towards a hundred yeah. times cheaper than it currently 